Coming up on AFL Today, today, we are finally shining a light on who, Alex? My beloved Sydney Swans. Yes, they are on top of the ladder, Jim. Would you believe it? I haven't heard anything about <laughs> really? it, I'll tell you. Uh, but we are bringing on Lockie McCurdy from Code Sports to talk all things Swans and GWS. Stats boy, what are you looking at in today's show? Oh, a bit of a surprise with Jacob Reading's, co- Reading's contract and Jed Walter, your favourite man. For I think Star. you're completely skipping over the simple idea. We <laughs> spend about 20 minutes yelling about the fixture and why we <laughs> yeah, don't have Thursday night footy. Yep. And I also fix the AFL. So you better listen to the <laughs> AFL Today show today because it is a crazy Cracker. Enjoy. So you have the floating fixture in 24 as well. You know how many weeks that is? Nine. Yeah. You know what you can do each week? The, Play Thursday night footy with so every dumb. team in the AFL. I don't think I've ever met one person that said Thursday night footy no. isn't a good I'll idea. I'll tell you who I saw complaining who? about who? it on Twitter yesterday. Who? Our favorite man, Matty S123. Oh, the worst fit. If he says something's wrong, do the opposite because no, he's wrong. He's like, yeah, a very, very small yeah, man. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Can we do this? The AFL not doing Thursday night footy is absolute bush league Ooh, gear. We're going to say something else. It's a kick in the face for the fans saying, oh, no, 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 we know what you want. And the fans are like, can we have Thursday night footy? They're like, no, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. You can have overlapping games on a Sunday and, a and that is all. And you're like, and a Saturday uh, as well, why not? And also, why not Fridays? We've still We're got not, another double head of Friday night too. That it's ridiculous. Is disgusting. Ugh. The AFL here is making its own case against its own expansion because what they're trying to say, in very hackneyed terms as well, is we don't have enough good games to put on a Thursday. That's not true. Exactly, stats. But course. you also don't need to have good games every Thursday. Now this is put it on, game. and we will watch. Exactly. This is the exact point I'm going to make. Exactly here. right. Because what you're trying to sell is not the two teams playing on the Thursday no. night. You're trying to sell Thursday night football. People do a nothing constant. on a Thursday. Well, you might because you're boring. But <laughs> well, I actually work. I actually cool, work. People, keep, cool people do stuff on Thursdays. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. You know, I don't do anything on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool anymore. That got Leo in the background. <laughs> but it is a very simple idea and a very simple premise. To build it properly, you back to the hilt no matter who is playing. So, right? Because yeah. with this simple idea of saying we don't have enough good games is absolutely beyond the pale of stupidity because you're like, right, what it's saying is to the fans of those other teams who are outside your the eight, suck. your teams don't matter. It means that your team yep. stinks. We do not care about you or <laughs> your fans because, oh, it's Thursday night footy. I wonder if my team's playing. Oh. No. And now we don't even have Thursday night footy because the AFL is too cowardly to try to build it. Did you so also my, hear- point, my point about this as well, right? We should have every single AFL employee who's been to the United States in the last 20 years (laughs) pay back every part and every cent of those junkets because they've clearly, they have not learnt a single goddamn thing in any of those junkets. If you go... Any from the AFL, you go, oh, we're going on a fact-finding mission. There'll be hundreds. You didn't find any (laughs) facts, did you? The facts are, if you build it, they will come. This is what it's all about. It's kicking dirt in the face of teams like... The loyal fans of St Kilda, of Brisbane, Hawthorne, North Melbourne, your beloved yes. North Melbourne. Because what <laughs> is the AFL, if not basically built around the clubs and the fans who go out and support it week in, yeah. week out? To say, we know better than you, is a slap in their face. Not every game has to be a blockbuster. No. It builds up the health of the league by simply showcasing every the team. entire yep. range of what you have. Even your mediocre teams, it doesn't matter. It's engaging those fans when their season might be cooked, it gives them hope. It goes, oh, we still care about it. The NFL does this so well. Do they rotate, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like their Thursday night games, rotate. they understand, right? Mm-hmm. They go, we know that our some of our teams are going to be playing on a short week. It sucks, but we're going to cop it because the product is the product. The product is Thursday night football. Away we go. And – the paternalistic approach of the AFL to be like, no, 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 no. You guys don't want Thursday Night Football. Ra- well, uh, ratings the ratings are, are overwhelmingly, yeah. way, 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 overwhelmingly way saying, mm. we do. Yep. It's beyond the pale. It is stupid. And I can't believe that the AFL has been this, this short-sighted to go, oh, we'll keep testing it. And then we'll test it a bit more next year. Oh, during winter, we want to give families so, and stuff. You know what's really easy? Going Indoor the games. There's a roof for a reason at Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> are you coming around oh, to the roof? Oh, oh, I'm on board with 
the roof. What did he do with Jim? Because it's a night game. <laughs> but sorry, they're man. turning me into a roof fanatic. <laughs> what but, are we doing but here? Did you hear one of the guys reason? He's like, oh, you know, so in winter it gets a bit cold on Thursday. So it's not cold on Friday no, and Saturday. No, no. Friday night football is still there. Oh no, the good thing is the sun's still out during the night. And on it Friday doesn't night. rain on week on Fridays. <laughs> like, Saturday nights. Oh, it's never been cold on a Saturday night. Did you know that, man? People still go to the footy. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. To abs- like, I can't believe that the way that they've built this up and to completely fumble the bag while the NRL, the NRL, the NRL. They're going to have one thing over us finally, but yeah. The NRL, one of the leagues with, to put it nicely, not the smartest people no. like in the world in charge. But they did now Thursday night footy. They've still got Thursday you know night what footy they coming do? up. Thursday they nights. roll it out every single week, mm-hmm. all through the season. It whips. And like, I love that Gerald Waitley is just like ropeable. Yeah, this Robo is great. Robert is putting together coherent arguments about <laughs> why they're completely wrong. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> AFL, you've cooked it. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go 